we'll have time uh, for discussion, debate, uh, spontaneity uh, after each presenter has a uh, relatively strictly time kept eight minutes. So my name is Chris Vance. Uh, I've participated in the introduction at the beginning, so I won't waste your time with that. But I'll uh, help uh, uh, my friends here and myself be moderate. So uh, I hope each uh, speaker reminds everybody of uh, self-introduces. So who would like to begin? I, I, I'd be glad to begin. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm Massimo. Are we introducing ourselves? Yeah, oh, yeah, I am Massimo. Massimo Use the mic, please. I'm uh, Massimo De Angelis. Uh, I've been friends of the Notes uh, gang for many years. Uh, 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 but here has been extremely influential for my own uh, work and development and uh, activism. Uh, Sorry, we still cover the hair. The mic's not on. Oh, so on. It's not on. Hey, hello, can you hear me? Do you want me to repeat who I am? <laughs> hello, I am Massimo De Angelis, a friend of Inline for a long time and uh, 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 editor of this web journal you may have encountered on cyberspace called The Commoner. Uh, have we introducing Am I speaking now or oh, I'm speaking. I thought we were just introducing ourselves. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, well, now you know who I am, um, and I'm supposed to speak about the crisis. I would like um, to share some thoughts, uh, starting from uh, um, the "One No Many Yeses" uh, the slogan that uh, came out from the Zapatista Encuentro. Uh, in uh, 96 and that uh, gave uh, um, uh, the title of one of the uh, notes of the Midnight Notes um, publications. Uh, the uh, one of many uh, yeses uh, uh, slogan uh, somehow represented a very interesting um, uh, problematic on one side the, the one no uh, and the one no was very clear, was the no to capital. On the other side, it problematized the question of the constitutional alternatives, uh, in a sense, as a, as a plural, uh, a, 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 a type of plurality of alternatives. Um, uh, back then, that uh, um, the slogan somehow cracked open some uh, claustrophobic feeling we had from various uh, uh, structuralist traditions within Marxism uh, that the alternative was something uh, pretty much uh, that needed to be worked out ahead in any case with something that happened after the revolution uh, while instead uh, uh, from the movement there emerged an idea uh, uh, which was uh, which, which linked alternatives to living, uh, living practices Okay, uh, so uh, the, the many alternatives, the many yeses somehow uh, uh, enable us to, to see uh, alternatives that are uh, in spite or despite capitalism and in antagonism of capitalism here and now and, and start to problematize the imminency, so to say, of, of, of the alternatives. Uh, and not uh, after um, uh, revolution. Uh, th th there is a, though, a problem, and that is where I, uh, well, we, with hindsight, after 10 years, well, more than uh, almost 20 years, not, not 10 years, 13 years, uh, um, uh, there is a problem in that, in that uh, the um, uh, the, the many yeses left as, as they are, as a pure plurality, uh, they do not yet shape alternatives. They do represent many spaces of outside capitalism, definitely. Uh, but uh, uh, we know the beast we are studying. We know uh, we beast we live in. We know capital uh, as, a, as a continuous colonizing force. Uh, these many yeses somehow need a terrain of recomposition. 
uh, a need also finding uh, ways to uh, uh, create spaces of alternatives that are strong enough to, to resist, powerful enough to, to resist the cooptation or, in, in fact, the destruction of capital. And in that sense, uh, uh, the question of, of the many yeses is not sufficient. It's the question becomes is how do we articulate those many yeses? Uh, um, how, how do we create a, a counter power which is effective enough and, and, and gives, enable us to recreate, reproduce our own lives? And so that's why I think the question of uh, uh, commons uh, is important. I just want to toss that thought there, because my talk wasn't really about this. My talk was about the link between crisis and commons. Uh, but well, in the kind of few minutes I've left, I don't know how many minutes I've left, but... Um, uh, Three. Oh, goodness. Um, uh, in the few minutes I've left, uh, I, I wanted to, uh, to highlight the, the need to somehow see our positions today within the crisis we are, that you know, various uh, uh, notes and uh, documents and publications have discussed, um, uh, how, um, uh, what I think is important is, is, to, is to link to the history of uh, the class struggle since at least the post war period uh, as a history of uh, the constitution of the capitalist commons. When the, our Midnight Notes comrades discussed the question of the deals, the A, B, the A deals, the B deals, the C deals, and all that, a variety of forms, and not only Midnight Notes, but also other commons around, we are actually talking about the creation by capital of a common terrain with the working class. It's a way to absorb struggles uh, and, and craft a common terrain within which people, or at least some certain sections of the class, reproduce or can reproduce their livelihoods, okay, within a new configuration of, 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 of imbalance of, of, of class powers. And of course this implies the, the exclusion of other sections, and we learned this from the Midnight Nose uh, uh, brothers and sisters, the uh, exclusion of certain sections of, of the working class, um, uh, the recreation of new hierarchies, and especially since these are capitalist commons, they, uh, they, 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 the recreation of, uh, uh, of, of the imposition of work and, and capitalist discipline. Okay, so in the in the, the, the productivity deals of the case and period that we have uh, uh, we are familiar with are the shared pool of resources productivity that particular time is the shared pool of, of resources uh, that uh, a particular section of the working class could share, so to say, with with the capitalists at the exclusion of others, uh, uh, and and and. and and uh, when, uh, um, uh, when we, we then we jump on uh, to, to the crisis of, of, of the Keynesian deal, again the crisis of the Keynesian deal was brought about by the questioning of all those excluded from those deals, of the borders or, or the, the, the borders of those commons, of those distorted capitalist uh, commons, of so who's included, who's not included. And, and there comes then the reformulation of a new type of uh, capitalist common in terms of finance. Um, and, well, I'm going to repeat all the, you know, the details of the, 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 the history of the 80s and 90s until the commons come creep in again in the, in the, in, in the 90s in, in the struggle from, from uh, below, uh, which is discussed in promissory notes, which uh, which uh, lead to the formation of a new kind of political economic configuration, 